Hello, everyone. This is the Inner Voice Show, part of the Evolving Mind series in the Togetherness Media. I'm Dr. Fujian Zain. I'm a psychotherapist and the founder of the Awareness Integration Theory. Happy Valentine's, everyone. I wish you experienced an amazing love today. And here is the tip of the week. Well, love is in the air. Well, the talk of the love is in the air. The symbol of romantic love, which is everywhere due to Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. It's the greatest excuse to share our love with people around us. So what is love? An experience, a beautiful internal experience that generates inside us first and then gets shared with others. From the neuroscience perspective, based on the published papers, love is a complex neurobiological phenomenon relying on trust, belief, pleasure, and reward activities within the brain and limbic process. These processes critically involve oxytocin, vasopressin, and dopamine and serotogenic signaling. And um, they naturally rewarding or pleasurable activities are necessary for survival and aptitude motivation, usually governing beneficial biological behaviors like eating, sex, and reproduction. Yet, a broad base of the common signaling and beneficial neurobiological features exists with connection to love, CONSA, thereby combining physiological aspects related to maternal, romantic, or sexual love. From a relational perspective, the experience, expectation, and behaviors around love varies based on the type of the relationship. In the romantic one, for marriage, love takes the central role and becomes the motivation factor for constantly negotiating to become an us in harmony. Expression of love takes on many forms and is unique to the couple as well as the various phases of the relationship. Love as an essence is expected and when it's missing the relationship kind of falls apart and loses the zest or the motivation to negotiate or give of ourselves as a gift to our mate. In family relationships, love is created side by side with responsibility, and there's an expectation that love should exist, and when the expression of it's not available, it becomes traumatic or dramatic for everybody. In friendships, love is fostered and grows in time with good deeds and caring for each other, mutual engagements and acceptance of each other. Love can be everywhere and anywhere we choose it to be. As a thought form, it appears as wishing goodness and kindness for others, Notice, noticing other people's positive qualities, enhancing their strength, accepting their vulnerabilities and voicing them. As a feeling, it's an experience of joy, happiness, closeness, sweet, sweet vulnerability, belonging, safety, and security. And as an action shows up with words, with gifts, acts of kindness, touch, and more. And mostly, love of self, to cherish and appreciate ourselves, to be kind to ourselves, live our best and nurture our vulnerabilities, love our bodies, and take care of ourselves uh, with well, well-intended eating and um, movement and sleeping habits. And as we learn to love ourselves and others around us, the ray of love shines through the fabric of our life and people around us. And love is the essence of fulfillment. So happy Valentine's and enjoy the love that you have and it's around you. Togetherness Media. Togethernessmedia.com